Welcome everybody to Sana Animam Fitness. I'm Diane and I'm going to be your guide on the journey to better, healthier, happier lives. Join me today for a 10 minute jump start into getting back into your exercise routine. Let's get started. For today's workout, you're going to need a set of dumbbells and your water bottle. And that's all. Let's jump right into it. We're going to start warming up. As always, you want to warm up your muscles, your joints, get your heart rate up a little bit, get everything flowing and moving properly. So we'll just start by a, a gentle march. Then as we get into this, as things start to warm up, you're going to pick your knees up a little more. Start swinging your arms, opposite hand, opposite leg, just as if you're power walking. Spring is coming, we'll be able to do that power walking outside pretty soon. Now we're going to take it out a little bit. We're going to go right, 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 tap, left, tap, right, tap, left, tap, right, tap left tap. You see how this works. We're doing these curls with our arms. That's good. Everything's really starting to warm up now. Feel the heat. Now we're going to take the Heel tap out front. Change our curl to a hammer curl. Working on those back of the legs now. You should feel a nice stretch, nice warm up right back here. Excellent job. I'm going to bring it, change it up again. This time we're going to take a wide stance, wider than you normally would for a squat. We're going to do a deep squat. Bring your hands down. Now with this, you're going to go as low as you comfortably can. For you today, if that's just here, that's okay. Just remember we're doing the hinging our hips back first and reaching for that floor. We're working on our hips here. Great job. <clears throat> now we're going to bring our feet together a little closer. I'm going to stand sideways so you can see me a little better. I'm going to do what's called a good morning. And I'm simply pushing my hips back like I was going to start to sit down. And I'm going to do a slight forward bend. Hands on the knees if you need to. And up. You're going to look straight forward. I'm looking at the camera so I don't lose you. Hands to the knees. And up again and up the movement is slow don't go up and down too fast and if you feel any lightheadedness or dizziness with this movement stop And one more. Great job. Now we're going to pick up our dumbbells. And we're going to take our left foot 
and step out with it. My right foot is back, my left foot is out. My knee is over my ankle, it's not over my toe. On that back foot, on my right foot, I'm coming up on my toe and I'm gonna hinge back with my hips and do a little bit of a dip. Here we go. Keeping my back flat. Great balance exercise this is. Don't roll your shoulders, keep your shoulders back. And come up. Now we're gonna switch our feet. Right foot's gonna go forward. Remember your knee's over your ankle, not over your toe. Come up on my toe, my back foot, and do a little bit of a dip. Remember, if you can only go this low, that's fine. And one more. Awesome job. We're gonna put one of our dumbbells down now. Get our feet into a good squat position. Start out about shoulder distance apart. We're gonna hold our dumbbell with both hands right up by our chest, trying to cover my microphone here. Hips back, goblet squats. Again with these, you're going as low as you can without discomfort. Don't forget to breathe. Good job. And one more. Awesome. Now, we're gonna take that dumbbell with our feet apart. We're gonna start with the dumbbell on the floor. We're gonna bend down and pick it up. Elbow goes up, hand goes up. That is one. Two, three, four, five. Now don't cheat and push off with your hand. Keep the hand that's not doing the work away from your leg. Seven, eight. nine, and 10. Awesome job. Now we're gonna pick up our dumbbells again, both of them. We're gonna do a bent row. Hinge at the hips. Notice that I'm not quite parallel to the floor. Arms are hanging down, back is flat. I'm gonna pull with my elbows. Think of this as a pull rather than a push. So I'm not pushing with my hands, I'm pulling with my elbows. Four, five, six, seven. You should be looking straight forward. I'm looking at the camera so I don't lose you. Nine, and 10. We're gonna go ahead and put the dumbbells down now. We're gonna to go to a couple of body weight exercises. First one is the age old airplane. Right hand to left knee and up. Left hand to right knee and up. Once you get the balance, and again, if you can't pick up your legs that high, that's fine. You can come down to your knee with your hand. So we're getting that little bit of a twist Working on these oblique muscles on the side. Ten. 
Take your time. Movement doesn't have to be fast. You'll feel these muscles working. Awesome job. Bring it down. Now, this next movement is called a sprinter. What we're going to do is take our left leg, back, up, back, up, back, up. You put your hands on your hips. Or get a little rhythm going here. We're going to do 30 seconds a side. This is going to get your heart rate going again. Get some cardio moves in here. Switch it up, other side. Get that rhythm in. The dip doesn't have to be deep. It's back up, back up. Good job. Keep it going. Another 10 seconds. If you find you need to hold on to a chair to do this, go ahead by all means and do that. All right. Bring it down. You feel that heart rate going a little bit. We're going to grab a dumbbell. This time we're going to hold the dumbbell by the ends, get our feet in a really wide stance, as wide as you comfortably can. We're going to do sumo deadlifts. Hinge at the hips, come down and up, down and up, again and up. Okay, now we're going to pick up the other dumbbell in that same stance. This time we're going to do a high pull. Roll your shoulders back, stand up straight. Again, you're picking up your elbows. Don't think of pulling or pushing with your hands. You're pulling your elbows up like there's strings on them pulling to the ceiling. This is a good core exercise, so you need to pull in your tummy muscles in order to be able to make this work. You wouldn't think you needed tummy muscles to bring your arms up, but you do. Nine, and one more. Ten. Great job. Go ahead and put your dumbbells down. We're going to do a little bit of stretching and breathing. Feet hip distance apart. Inhale up. Clasp your hands together. Turn and reach. Exhale down. Inhale up. Turn. Press. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Turn. Press. Exhale down. Great job on today's workout, you guys. You're really getting into the rhythm of it. You're starting to feel the benefit of it. It doesn't take long. It only takes a few days of being consistent with your exercise program so that you start to feel and see the difference. You know, the first, our goal is to feel great. So that's where we're going with this. Send me feedback. How are you doing? How are you feeling? What would you like to see more of? I love to hear from you guys. So thank you for joining me for today's workout. 
See you next week. Thank you.